the Battle of the Atlantic, the longest continuous military campaign of the Second World War. The peril posed by Germany's U-boat fleet was said by Winston Churchill to be the one thing he really feared. The crew of one of the Royal Navy's most sophisticated ships has taken time out of its busy schedule to commemorate and reflect on the wartime sailors not too dissimilar to themselves who, when the call came, delivered victory on the Atlantic. Forces News was invited on board during Defender's visit to Liverpool to find out more about the links between 1943 and now, and to learn more about the Type 45 destroyer's role in the modern-day Royal Navy. Already this year, HMS Defender has sailed to Norway twice, conducted weapons trials in the Outer Hebrides, and escorted several Russian units near UK waters. So this year we've had quite a busy year. So we started off in January with a, a FTSP, uh, that's a support period. Um, we then went on to deploy um, and we've now just recently finished exercise Formidable Shield 23, where we did a live Sea Viper missile firing. With so much thought on the activities of the Battle of the Atlantic 80 years ago, how does a state-of-the-art destroyer like Defender fit into the modern-day Royal Navy? My name is Lieutenant Harry Long and I'm the navigating officer on board. HMS Defender is a Type 45 destroyer. She's an 8,000 ton, 152 metre long, advanced air warfare destroyer. Her main objective is to defend the UK carrier strike group from air attack. To do this, she uses her state-of-the-art radar to detect any inbound threats and uses her 48 Sea Viper missiles to detect and destroy those threats. HMS Defender is one of the key components of UK maritime strike. And what about life on board? So we've got different shifts every day, uh, four hour watches. Uh, so we'll be on the bridge for four hours. Then we'll go down, do some maintenance on the upper deck, making sure the ship's nice and clean, repainting, de-rusting, stuff like that. We've been up to Norway a few times, uh, out into the Mediterranean, uh, we've completed bolt ops. So there's plenty of good stops that we've had. Best thing is probably the camaraderie between, obviously, doesn't matter if your junior rates up to officers, you can all get along, uh, have a good sense of humour. Worst thing is probably the shifts, but you do get used to them, so eventually you roll into getting used to it. Soon, with anniversary respects paid, this modern ship, equipped and ready to take on any enemy, will return to sea and continue operational patrols in what's shaping out to be a very busy year. James Wharton, Forces News, Liverpool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.